Hi everyone, welcome to World of Braiding and Extensions. <clears throat> Today we're going to do something really exciting to show you what we've been up to. My name is Joy Fido and welcome on board. What's the focus of this video and what does World of Braiding and Extensions stand for? We always stand for what we call KISS. So that's knowledge, information and skills. So we'd like to share all of that with you. We share our keys with you. Knowledge, information, skills. So today we're gonna be showing you how to create this amazing cornrow design. I call it one side cornrow design. But we are using a beautiful, beautiful hair color, hair extensions color, which is blue ombre. So you see the one B color here and you see the blue here. So it's a blue ombre. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to create this design such that the ombre really stands out and then the blue comes out as well. So that's what we're working on today. Okay, so what we've done here, you can see the effect of the ombre. I'll explain that as we go along. But first, you, what we're doing here is a design where we've created a center pattern and it's gone all the way down. So the style is all the hair is going to one side of her face. That's what we we'll call it, the one side cornrow. So the first thing when you're creating this design is you create a section, create it like a four group section. So this is the first section and this is the se second section. And we're gonna do the same thing on that side. But why do we do that? It helps you when you're creating your individual strands. Now, ignore here because she's extremely bold here, this doll. So I had to play around here a bit. But ideally, if she had a bit of hair here, I would slant my sections like this before I get to that point. So I had to work with what I have. So this is not an ideal situation, but you may have clients that have similar thing. You play around with it. So we're getting all the hair to go down here and make sure that we have hair here each time we come down because whenever you're creating say a one side type of cornrow which is like all the way back as well all the way to the side or whichever there will always be issues where the hair here is a lot more than the hair here so that's what's happening here so Ensure you have hair there, but when you're creating the sections here, they are slanting going down so that you don't end up taking a, a big chunk here and think that you're going to have that same size when you get down and you struggle. So that's what's happened here. But um, I hope that makes sense. If not, you can always ask questions. But now we are on to the second block, which is the front. And now I'm beginning to take the strands coming down. Okay, so remember it's an ombre ready to braid hair, which I'll show you as we are ready to move on. Um, all down there is blue and here it's 1B. So this particular one is ready to braid. We have this available, which I'll show you the package. You can order yours directly. And then you could also have them in a pack, which I will also show you. So when you're braiding something like this, you're not going to go like that. Or you're not going to go like that. If you go like that, what happens is that hair automatically goes down and you're messing around with your ombre effect. So what you do, this is similar to what we do with when we are braiding micro braids. You open up the hair and then throw them across. So you see how that becomes still carrying your ombre effect down. But even when you do that, in between the black hair is going to show itself with the hair you're braiding is not a problem because the what you're going to get is more of the blue finally finishing the strands than the black joining in so now i'm going to get started and the effect i'm creating is like a bit just a little hint of a ghana corn roll and so i have hair all lined out ready to pick up Okay, so what I'm doing now is just creating my cornrow. And the focus is not so much you learning how to cornrow right now because um, 
which I'll show you our training pack. We are assuming you already know how to con roll. All we are after here is mostly for you to pick up the e effect of creating the ombre hair. So each time I'm bringing the hair to adding, you can see that I'm just focusing on ensuring the black hair or the darker color stays down. And that's the ombre effect that we're creating. So once you've got enough hair going in, then you carry on with your cornrows. And you can notice that I have more of the blue at the tip than the darker color at the tip. Now the darker color again could be the client's hair if your client's hair doesn't match with your, the hair you're creating. So it will show itself in between. Now, if I was using this to create single braid, it would be similar. The single braid would be what starts the darker side. Remember the ombre effect. And then the colored hair would be what's finishing at the tips. Which I will do one of these days in the video as well. So you get the effect. See that? So this is all the blue hair. And then down there is the darker hair that's going into the base. Um, Carrying on, what you then do, because I want to finish it off so that I have good length finishing the hair, I will still add more hair just to give me the length from what I have before, similar to what I have before. So I'll just add a bit of hair to match with that. And you remember when you add hair, especially with the Ghana Conroe effect or the the braiding effect where you don't let the hair cut across you you put it in and leave it out and then take it back in i'll just do one more for you to see what that means okay so the dark hair comes goes in you hold it down hold it down with the finger and then when you take it and you pick the other side, you let go of the one that you don't want to take with you. Hold it down and pick it back in. And that's what you do when you don't want it to sit across. And that's when you're doing what we call the braiding. So you see that? Now you carry on with your braids. So now we have all the dark colors sitting here and all the lighter colors finishing the tips. And that's what we're trying to achieve. Because when I show you what the hair looks like, if you didn't have the ready to braid version of the hair, which I'm going to show you again, the one we've used, you will have the hair sitting just at the base, the, the ombre feel. So the darker color is just at the base. And ideally, you're supposed to just braid with that without doing anything to it. If you're braiding with that and you have to add hair in between, just like I've done now, you may wonder where the darker color should be. So it's something you have to handle when you're deciding to work with a full pack of the hair without having to um, have it in two lengths. So what I've done is I actually have it in two lengths. 
now if I wanted to add more hair see the length of what I have is a lot longer again I bring my hair in but this time I'm going to make it a lot shorter so it's not too long and you can see that that darker color has gone in but when I'm going to braid now I'll make sure that I push it really in really in so the dark color is going in see that's the dark and this is still blue so I'm going to make sure each time I have to deal with the black I turn it around to sit inside see that and so it's not too much in between the hair because the whole idea is to have the blue finish in the hair So we hope this made sense and it's something you like to try on. Um, we're going to carry on and I'll show you as we progress. You see the effect of what this looks like when we finish. Okay, so you can see how far we've gone and look at the ombre effect. So blue is what we are seeing at the base. In between there are hints of black, but sometimes depending on how much hair you add in, those really filter through, but it's not a problem. The main focus is the blue. And so we gradually nearly finish this side, just one strand left. And once this is done, we're gonna now carry on. On this side, the same way I showed you with the sectioning, we carry on and color this to match with that and they all go on the one side hence we call it the one-sided coral but i did promise i will show you the hair extension so here we are again from our brand bundles of joy so this is what they look like you see the black part all there and then the blue starts to show so black and blue and this comes in so many variety of colors so it's for you to know that we have this hair in stock and they're available whenever you want them all you have to do is tell us the colors because one of the big thing we want to really start doing is to work with a lot of color in hair we want to bring beauty to hair not just bland plain colors so the one i just showed you is the full length of it and then we also have the ready to braid way of doing it and ready to braid is the one i've been working with again in our pack and when you get them they come two pieces in a pack two pieces in a pack so ready to braid meaning the tips have been lightened so you lighten it so that it's not too heavy at the tips and this is what i've been working with so hence i did this to get this dark part into the cornrow and then this lighter part to finish it off and that's the ombre effect so again bonus of joy this is where the hair is we have it we'll put out the link um the description and the details in the description box feel free order your hair but of course as part of what we always show you being part of the skills that we share with you this is our home training pack and like we've always said there are 30 dvds in this pack 30. lots of people ask me where can i get it description box is where everything is it allows you to understand your skill once you know your skill creativity is your choice Whatever color you want to pick on, whatever hair extension you want to work with, whatever texture, everything else is now your creativity. But you need that knowledge to get started. And that's what that home training DVD pack will do for you. So we're going to carry on this and I will show you our completed look when we're done. Okay, so we finished our hair. And what I'm trying to do now is to finish the tips of this hair. Choices are I could just dip it in hot water and straighten it all the way so it becomes a straight look. Or in the case of what I'm doing, I just want to roll the tips 
to give it a curly look at the end. So I just get curly perm rollers and I just roll the tips. Now you can do this with most hairs. And this is our brand of hair, Bundles of Joy. Beauty of it is you have the ombre effect, which is what we're doing with this particular style. So just take some rollers and go. We have um, times too when we use like bigger rollers than this one and you can also use smaller rollers than this. It's entirely your choice. Um, we've also done styles like the corkscrew effect where we just take um, hair extensions and string the ends. So there are just so many ways of finishing the tips of braids. So this one we're going to dip in water and see what comes up. Okay, so I've got my water and that goes in. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to insert more of the hair in just so as to smooth in the tips. Seal it in better. Okay, whenever you're working with hot water, remember you have to be extremely careful. Okay, so once you've dipped all that part in, remember there are some parts that then go into the water, so you get your towel into the water. Hold it in and press it on the rest of the hair that didn't get into water. It's to help take away all the flyaways. So now because this is a dull head, so there are some bits of hairs that are flying away. I can easily trim them because it's a dull hair, but if it was, was a person, I would normally not trim them. If this was a natural hair client, when I'm braiding it, I hold it really tightly in so it don't, doesn't stick out. You can see how smooth the hair has gone. Any hair sticking out are just hair from the doll. So this hair is extremely good for you to braid with. So now I'm going to dab the base. Remember, if colorful hair is what you're looking for, this is where we've got it. We have this in most colors. So that one had been dipped earlier. So these are the newly dipped ones. And then you take it out. You see the effect of it. So you can see what this looks like now. Absolutely pretty. So what I'll do, I'll just trim the tips. And that's our client, and that's the hair. Remember what?
I was going to dump what I hear. I have to boil again. Okay, so you can see our finished look. See the other side, remember, is coming from one whole side down. Now, this hairstyle, there's so many ways we can play around with it, which <coughs> with time we may come up with other versions of similar hair. We are playing away with different ways of doing it. And you see the effect of the deep dye. So it starts really dark. In between wherever the darks were, that's what you're seeing. And then the blue starts to show. So that's one of the most unique thing about this particular hair extensions and it comes in all colors so these are things you could like to try out for yourself or try out with your clients and look at the beauty of it you can create different things with it great curls you can leave it straight and it comes even in longer lengths than this particular one so the one we worked with is a ready to braid version you can also have the one you decide how you create it. So that's it. You can take a hairband and hold it there as well. If you felt like it. There's so many ways this person can style this hair. Okay, so we hope you we've really been able to share something amazing with you today, showing you the way to create this one-sided cornrow and then using the ombre hair. But of course, you can see my necklace that I'm wearing is all blue. I wore it deliberately because I was going to work with blue hair. We have things like this in stock. They're available for you whenever you want to try your hands on unique creative things. Um, the hair I'm wearing again, we've been selling this hair um, on our website as well. And we've done videos on them and we've shown, shown you how to create them as well. But they are here in various colors. I'm sure you've seen me with the blue as well. And you can guess that blue is one of my favorite colors. So we have so many colors of this full braided million braid hair um, wig. They are wigs, you just put it on your head and you're ready to go. So we really, really appreciate you watching our videos and feel free to send us messages or, you know, anything you're not clear about that's really concerning and bothering you. We are more than happy to respond to them. And thank you so much to all our subscribers who keep watching and following us and, you know, supporting us and encouraging us to carry on with what we know. So thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video and God bless you.